this video, I'll demonstrate how to use and view tags within SQL Inventory Manager. Tags is simply a way to group SQL Server instances and or databases together so that you can more effectively manage your environment. On the home screen of SQL Inventory Manager, you'll be able to find the list of tags in your environment at the bottom right hand corner. Notice that some tags have a little bit more emphasis placed on them. The emphasis basically indicates some frequency of usage in terms of applying the tag to a SQL Server instance and or database. I can click on the tag from here, which will take me to the Explorer view with that specific tag used as a filter. However, I'm just going to go to the Explorer view manually, just so that you can see what kind of data loads before applying the tag as a filter. So you can see here that the view has now loaded. I have what shows about 11 instances that are being monitored by the tool. If I wanted to narrow that down to business critical servers, I can simply click on that tag as a filter and you can see the view has been, now been filtered. Um, the same thing can be applied to the database tags. Again, keep in mind that tags can be applied to either the SQL Server instance or the database. Now there are a couple of ways that you can create tags within SQL Inventory Manager. The first way is probably the easiest, which is to go to the administration screen. On the administration screen, you want to click on the Manage Tags link which will give you a window where you can see all the various tags that you have in your environment. And I'm going to update this filter so I can see all the 10 tags I currently have. Notice that on this view that you can see the instance counts that are associated to the tag itself, the instance count and the database count. If I wanted to edit a tag, existing tag, I can do it from here. If I wanted to add a new tag, I can do it from here. To add a new tag, simply click on the Add button. You'll need a, it'll start a wizard, which you will need to provide a name for the tag itself, and then you can apply whichever server should have that tag applied to it, and or databases as well. I'm not going to do that here in this video. The other way that you can apply a tag is by going to the instances view. Here, you can either click on the gear icon and click the edit tags, which will give you a little window where you can create a new tag or select which tag you want to apply to it. The other way is that you can select the service from the grid and then click on the edit tags button. Again, you'll see the same pop-up window here where you can add a new tag or apply the tag that you want to the service. In terms of applying tags to the instance, you'll have to actually drill down to the instance itself. When the instance page loads, you'll find the list of databases here. And just like on, or rather, just like when applying a tag to a specific instance, you'll need to click on the gear icon and select edit tags so that you can specify which tag that you want to apply to that particular database. If you'd like to learn more about SQL Inventory Manager, please visit the website at www.idera.com. Thank you.